Hi guys! I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is going to be a video showing you some MoU products. Uh, I received some image plates from them with a little kit like this and a stamper. Uh, I'm actually really loving these image plates. Well, all, everything I got from these from this brand is truly awesome. Uh, I've had some image plates before from other brands. Some are Conad and some are like cheap uh, brands that I got off of eBay. But I can tell you it is such a huge difference in the quality, both on the image plates themselves and all, also the stamper. It came in a little kit like this, a little bag in fabric where it says Moyu London. And here we have a little scraper and a stamper. This is a, I think they call it marshmallow stamper, and I think it retails for £5.99. So it's UK, as you might know. Um, so UK pounds. And this is so amazing. It is so sticky. When I first got this, I thought it was going to be some residue that you have to get rid of or something, but it's supposed to be like this, and it's actually really doing wonders for your image plate, so it's really awesome. Uh, I got to choose two palettes, um, two image plates, I'm sorry, from Moyu, and I got the Pro XL Designs in number seven and number 10. And they all come individually packed in a little kit like this. And these are the two image plates that I got. Really pretty designs. Here are mostly floral. And on this plate, there is a cupcake, a, an owl, some like paint stains, and some other cool designs. And what I've noticed from these palettes, from these image plates, uh, compared to the cheap ones that I got before, is that these are deeper and it's cut deeper. So it's like you can feel it more and it comes off so much better. And a good thing I love about these is that you can use any polish that you have. When I first started using image plates, um, I you had to have a special polish. And those were kind of expensive and I only got one in black and white because I didn't want to pay so, many, so much money for just a stamping polish that it's not necessarily that often that you use them. But with these image plates and especially this kit with this awesome marshmallow stamper, you can use whatever polish you have previously, which is awesome. And it gives me such more variety because I have quite a lot of polishes. And of course the ones that works the best are the ones who are really opaque in its color. But um, I thought I was gonna do a little demonstration with them. Um, these image plates and this stamper and scraper. I forgot to show you that I got a nail polish uh, among with the rest of the stuff too. And this is Moyu's nail polish. You can use both as a stamping polish and also as a regular polish. So I thought I would show you both. But it comes in a little box like this and this is what the nail polish looks like. And let's see, this one has the name Cool Pool. I thought I would show you different ways to do this on, on top of a dark color, on top of a light color. Uh, I'm going to use black and white just for demonstration. But here you have one coat of this cool pool. And second coat. This is really beautiful polish just as it is but I'm gonna paint these two nails black and white and then I'll show you with the stamping plate. All right, so now my three nails are painted with the Cool Pool from Mo Yu, uh, just a black. This is a black from OPI called Who Are You Calling Bossy? And the white one is from OPI and is called um, Alpine Snow. But that doesn't matter which colors you wear, you wear whatever you like. Uh, but now I'm gonna show onto um, the demonstrate the image plates. So I was thinking that I was gonna use this image plate onto my black with gold polish. So uh, I would recommend always wiping it off before you start to use it. Even if you wiped it off when you finish it the last time, I would still recommend doing that. And I think it's good to always have uh, some kind of cotton pad or something underneath here because it's gonna get messy. Also always start by um, 
wiping off your scraper, your stamper. Alrighty, so I'm gonna use this China Glaze in uh, 2030, a gold metallic, really, really pretty. Let's, you don't have to put it all over the image plate. You can put it about halfway um, because we're gonna scrape this and it's gonna cover it. And then you just put that over. You see here you've got the design. And something to know, if the design is not good onto the stamper, don't put it onto your nail. And then you just take the stamper and you gently push it on over, roll it over the nail. And there you go. You see it got a little bit messy there um, around the cuticles. And you can just use nail polish to remove that or... But this is a recommendation putting tape on top of this. But nowadays they do have something called liquid latex tape. I'm sure most of you have heard about it and it looks awesome, I want it, but I haven't yet to find one that ships to Sweden for a decent price. So when I do, or if you have any recommendations about that, please let me know because I'm dying to try that kind of product. Yeah, so. And then I wanted to do one of these designs. So let's see, which one should I go for? Uh, I think this is really pretty and I'm going to put that with um, this cool pool from Moyu onto the white nail. And cover it about halfway, more is not necessary, but don't put too little polish where you put the polish if you do this because you're, you need the excess to scrape over where you're supposed to be. And this is also a recommendation. If you want to get rid of the polish on the stamper, use tape, scotch tape like this, and you just get it off without being too messy. All right, so next color. Scrape it off, pick it up, and you just place it to the nail. like that and since now I have the tape there it doesn't get as messy so now I'm just going to remove the tape and see that is a clean kind of there's a little dot there but I'm going to clean that up and then I thought I was just going to do one more with white on top of this cool pull color so let's see which one should we choose Maybe this one. Oh, I'm really loving all these patterns. They're they're so pretty. And then don't forget to take off the excess and the stamper. This is actually a really good tip that I saw. Someone else, I was watching a review. Someone was doing a review over a stamping set. So let's put this white polish here. I think we need a little bit more. And you just scrape it off, roll over, and then you just roll it onto the nail. There you go. Now I just need some cleaning up to do, and then I'm gonna come back to show you the results with a little less mess. And here you can see the different designs that I did, and that what the contrasting colors will do. Of course, the best result you will get if you do a really contrasting color. I think this is really beautiful. I really It doesn't have to be black but a really dark color and metallic on top or like a white or a really bright or colorful uh, color. On a white you can put on pretty much anything but white won't come off that much. <laughs> and um, on color it just you can choose whatever color you feel comfortable wearing. But this is a fun way to get beautiful designs I love it and it would be fun to hear what you guys think. What do you guys think? You who, you who have tried Moyu or different other, other brands that does image plates too, I would love to hear comments from you. But um, these are the designs for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these, this product review. I can honestly say that I am really loving these products. I've been using it so much since I got it. And I think it's really great. If you want to do that designs that look advanced but aren't, 
and maybe you're not so steady on your hand or not interested or don't have time or not skilled enough to do advanced designs on your nails but you want them this is a perfect thing for you i'm really loving it and i love to combine like on a couple of nails i do nail art um, hand painted nail art and some others i do stamps so you can do such variety and you can do so many different things and just let your imagination run free. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.